a show of respect to fallen comrades. Hundreds of current and former officers set off on their annual ride to Canberra. It really does, uh, it does mean a lot to the police family. While these officers took some time to remember those who've made the ultimate sacrifice, a new study has found the day-to-day -day sacrifices of serving are pushing police beyond their limits. University researchers studying the well-being of frontline workers surveyed more than a thousand Victorian police officers. 67% of them said they're at the point of burnout. 58% frequently think about quitting. And a figure which researchers say is most concerning, 21% claiming they're likely to leave within a year. If you're looking at over 10% turnover intentionally, that, that's critical. But we have a 21% here. These, these turnover figures are the worst of the groups that we've done. Officers told the researchers they're working like dogs, with stress at an all-time high, fed up with senior management who they say are unlikely to listen. Well, I don't agree with the outcomes of the survey, I'm sorry. The state's top brass argue every police jurisdiction in the country is struggling to fill vacancies post-COVID. Victoria is recruiting and training far more officers than it's losing. We had last month the largest number of uh, applications we've ever seen. Bringing more people in, churning them through and then losing more, it's not really the solution we would argue. But the answer isn't more police necessarily. The answer is better practice. The union wants to see an overhaul of conditions for officers, calling for more stability and work-life balance. They'll put up with all manner of things, but everybody has a breaking point. That breaking point has been tested in recent weeks, with police being called to a series of high-profile incidents, including another deadly rampage on Burke Street. Nicholas Hines, ABC News.